Well, we just anchored uh, offshore island and noticed a lot of boats aground on the beach. We thought, what a tragedy. But when we came ashore, we found that it was a bunch of McGregor's, uh, a little trailer sailor. These guys have come from Mackay and are heading to the Whitsundays. So we thought we'd come ashore and have a bit of a chat to them. I'm talking with um, Nigel and Bernadette off a little boat called Emma. My daughter's name's Emma, so I'll be able to remember your boat name Bernadette. easily. <laughs> um, so you didn't uh, just end up stranded here, you have put the boats ashore. Absolutely. Each afternoon we um, arrange to congregate in a, the designated place where we're, we're bound so that we can all get in and out of our boats and enjoy each other's company on the beach. And then when we lift off, as we call it, the next morning, we're off to the next spot, or in this case actually we're staying two nights, but we'll go for a sail and come back. Sounds like a lot of fun. I guess you keep a good eye on the tides because they are neeping at the moment, so you want to make sure that you can be back in the water for the next day. I've heard horror stories where someone will come in on a high tide, but the next tide's not quite as high, <laughs> so they've got to wait until another equally high tide before they can get out, so they could be here for a while, yeah. Is this a, a club or a, is it a McGregor club? I noticed all the boats are McGregors, which are a bit of a hybrid between a power boat and a sailing boat, I guess. So is it a club, Bernadette? No, it's not a club. We just sort of met each other. Well, we met some of them on Mile Lakes, and then Mile Lakes and the people of Mile Lakes introduced us to um, some other people who ran this uh, trip. And lo and behold, the person who was running it worked in my corridor, and I didn't even realise that neither of us realised we had McGregor's. So we, um, my husband's just retired, so we thought, what a great way to sail into retirement. So <laughs> we thought we'd come along. <laughs> Now, uh, you said just retired, uh, Nigel just retired. Any plans for a slightly larger boat and maybe doing it a, a, bit, uh, a bit longer? I have um, a bit of a dream, if you like, that when Bernadette retires in, I don't know, five or ten years' time, we might actually get a much bigger boat and uh, live on it for a while and rent the house out and who knows. But we haven't quite decided that. It's not unanimous yet. Okay, so at the moment, it's um, the Book of Dreams, Trader Boat, and the McGregor. I think you're doing it pretty well. We can recommend the lifestyle you, Nigel's thinking of choosing. It is fantastic. But, um, yeah, you've got to both like it. Okay, well, this is our, the kitchen, and um, we, we modified it. We put a, a metho stove in, which is fantastic, and put a new sink in. And um, we've done lots of mods, and it's very, very comfortable. And... Uh, very really easy to work in. I've got full headroom, which is fantastic. <laughs> okay, well, look, uh, thanks very much for your time. There's a few, a few of you others come in, and uh, there's a whole group of people here, and it looks like they're having a great time. Yeah. Okay, uh, just talking with a couple of other McGregor owners, um, Nev and Lynn. Uh, how are you enjoying the cruise so far? Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, pity we didn't have a bit more the wind this, on this trip, but uh, we've had to do a fair bit of motor sailing. Yeah. Why would you need wind? Have you got a 50 horsepower outboard strapped on the back of it? <laughs> no, well, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Sailing, <laughs> we hope. We like to sail. We, we learnt to sail on our boat. Yeah. We had never sailed before, and because the McGregor's are... You can sail or motor. It gives you a bit of confidence when you're beginning to learn. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we really took to it. Yeah. yeah. And, and they do sail quite well? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we're quite happy with the way they sail. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, thanks very much for your time. Oh, thank you. Uh, now, the McGregor's have got some features that are pretty particular to this type of boat. Uh, Gary, can you tell us what are some of the things that these boats um, have that make them unique? Yeah, well they're all uh, water ballast, they all have swing keels, swing rudders, so um, when you're under sail you fill the ballast, that takes on I suppose about 800 kilos of uh, water. Something on the McGregor's you don't see on a lot of uh, even trailer sailing yachts is the big motors that they run. And I've noticed that most of these boats have 50 horsepower, um, that works pretty well. 50 works really well. It, um, it's good for the power when you're uh, wanting to um, motor sail with the currents up here, especially. It, um, yeah, it's good to have the, the motor and uh, when the, with the water ballast. If the going gets a little bit rough for sailing, you can down everything. 
drain the ballast and, and head for shoulder type of thing. And all the boats of course are trailable. Yep, all trailable. Um, I think like around two tonne with the trailer. Yeah. Uh, the big ones go up to probably a bit over that on the 28s. But uh, yeah, all trailable quite, quite comfortably behind a four wheel drive. Okay, excellent. Well look, um, thanks very much Gary. <laughs> I think I need a coffee. Yeah, I need one too. <laughs>